Guys, we're back to making some filters, but this time I'm gonna actually show you guys how to post them. And actually, you can post on your Facebook too, but who has that? You can show your mom how to do it. Okay, we're back on Procreate today. Let's open it up right away. Guys, I'm gonna save you the trouble of me. <laughs> A lot of trouble, actually. One, I feel like I know how to use the app now, so that's gonna save some time. And two, I'm gonna save you guys the trouble of watching me try to come up with an idea for today's filters because, can you not tell? It's Valentine's Day today when you're watching this, but if you're in the future, then you're probably just watching this whenever to learn how to put the filters on Instagram. So if you're here for that, I'm just gonna ignore everything. Okay, I have some ideas. This is what I'm thinking. We can have hearts on our faces that change colors. We could do like a Cupid's arrow through the head. I could draw like a diaper. No, no, or not. No. I could draw like chocolate. When you eat, chocolate just comes out of your mouth. That might look like poop is coming out of your mouth though. Scratch that idea too. Okay, it looks like we're gonna go with hearts and an arrow. Cross out my other ideas. Uh, let's start with the arrow. Is this a good, no, that, that's a real thick, thickum. We got a head here. Here's our head. Oh wait, actually guys, look. I finally learned how to do the circle thing. All you have to do is just hold it. Like, are you kidding me? And it will fix your shapes for you, look at that. Does it work when you do like a nose? Squidward. I mean, we could use Squidward as our reference. We can make the arrow a heart. Oh, holding down the shape to fix it doesn't work with hearts. Do you guys hear my dog licking herself? <laughs> Meaty. <laughs> That's self-love if I've ever seen it. My dog is promoting self-love on Valentine's Day. Meaty, you are such inspiration. Is it recording? It is. Is it gonna stay recording? We're gonna find out. 20 minutes late. I still can't do the voice. I'm okay. Self-love. Okay. There's the heart. Whatever. <laughs> I added fire to the arrow because as we know from me playing the forest on my Twitch stream, fire arrows are way more efficient in murder. I'm just gonna go and draw the tail of the arrow now. How do I even do that? Why is it coloring with my thing? I'm back to hating this. I'm really back to hating this. Like my iPad literally is overheating. Like you've done nothing, iPad. You've literally done nothing except cause me distress, okay? Like you have no permission to be overheating like this. Whoosh, whoosh. Oh yeah, I like how the one goes like deeper. And we can add some lines. <sighs> Guys, the screen recording stopped again. And my dog is still looking. Media, I think that's enough self-love, okay? Now you're just being vain. Let's just get to coloring this in. Am I on the right layer? Guys, I hate digital drawing. So many technical difficulties. I think if I do this and we carefully, it's been selected. Okay, now my camera stopped recording, but basically I selected that part of the heart so that's the way I could easily make a gradient for the fire on the heart arrow. Okay. <laughs> Guys, I colored it in the gradient. It's amazing. I just barely even colored the arrow. I just added in some stripes. We're moving on. We are making another square. Okay, let's see if I can remember how to do this. Okay, reference, face. <gasps> oh, should we use the same colors? Did it save? <gasps> it looks kind of stretched out. I forgot about that. Oh my God, why does that one look perfect? Check to see if it's recording. <laughs> okay, duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. Wow, amazing. Okay, which one is which? Pick a new color, let's do like a purple. There we go, a classic red. I think this one's my favorite right now. Guys, let's save these and let's go and put them on our Instagram. The first thing you want to do is download the Spark AR Studio onto your computer. Okay, remind me later. <laughs> Don't got time for that. Okay, now let's take away the background and we're gonna export this as a PNG. I'm gonna send it to my computer. New, new project. This is our little friend here. <laughs> you know that like little click thing that drops the menu? You know how to do that. <laughs> and then you're gonna go click on 
face tracker. Okay, now click the face tracker. Go to add face mesh. Actually, can't we change them? You look scary. I don't what? Guys, <laughs> these people are scaring me. Oh my god. Okay, we gotta go out of material now. Oh, look. Oh, that did not help at all. Oh my god, remember last time, guys? I was like, I don't know how to make a beauty filter. Well, guess what? Guess what? Look at this. Click that little thingy. Look at that. Now everyone's gonna be beautiful. Oh my god, I shouldn't say that. Guys, if you have pimples, you're still beautiful, okay? Okay, let's go back to add object now, you guys. Okay, now we're gonna go over here. We're gonna go to rectangle. Look at that little... This is where the little arrow is gonna go through. We also are gonna have to add the material here too, guys. This looks so ugly right now. It's gonna look cool. Right here where it says texture. And we're just gonna pick the arrowhead. Oh shoot. Okay, now we're gonna do the same one again and we're gonna add in the tail. Okay, now I'm gonna show you guys how to put something on your face. Like a face tracking filter. And then I'll show you guys how to upload it to Instagram. I added in everything we did before to get the face smooth, but now we added another face mesh this time. And I clicked the add material button. We're gonna go over here. And this time guys, we are gonna change the material to flat. Scary. Turn on the alpha and we're gonna choose, click on this. Actually, I wanna use me this time. Wow, look at us. Oh. I forgot to say this because I was too busy looking at myself, but basically just hit that little color square if you wanna change the color of the filter to any other color. Okay, we're gonna use the arrow as the example to upload. Basically what you can do is you can do a test on device and you can send it to the app Instagram. I haven't hooked up to my Instagram, so now it's gonna send to my Instagram. Oh, there we go, try preview. Yes, I'd like to test this effect, please. It should do a little spark preview. <gasps> Guys, I think I'm obsessed with it. I'm saving that picture. Like it, you go to the upload and there it's showing all the like, I don't know, I usually don't touch anything on this. I just push upload because I don't know. I'm gonna call it Cupid's Arrow. Um, this is the file that's already there. And then you can choose what platforms you want it. I'm not putting it on my Facebook because who has that? And now you can add it into some things. Love, keywords, Valentine's Day, anything that you could think of people might search to like see this. Okay, now you have to make a video. So this is when you use this again. And now we get to make a video. This is so embarrassing. Here it is. The demo video. Do I get to pick the thumbnail? Oh, I do. Oh my god, thank goodness. <gasps> Look at that, that's what's going on my Instagram page. Okay, now we have to make an icon. Open, confirm. This is what it'll look like in that little circle now when, before you take a picture. Okay, and then we just submit. <laughs> Uploading file. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, so it's in review and it usually just accepts usually the most like after two days. So by Friday or by Saturday, by Valentine's Day, you guys should be able to use this. Unless, what if they don't accept any of my filters? Okay guys, somehow even the outro cut out. So if this video was useful, you're actually gonna use this. Push like and subscribe. And if you guys make a filter, make sure to tag me because I want to see it. Or if you use my filters, tag me as well. <laughs> and I will see you guys next week.